Hey there, I want to show you a fun way to play in the key of E. Uh, many of you, if you've been playing for a while, I'm sure you know this trick, but if you don't, it's really a fun way to make the key of E even simpler. Um, the key of E is, is one of my keys that's, you know, okay to play in. Uh, when you're in open position, you've got the one chord, which is E, you've got the four chord, which is A. Problem is the five chord is a B and a bar chord, and the sixth chord is is a C sharp minor, and that is a, a bar chord as well. And then also you've got your two and your two and your three chords, and they're both minor or bar chords. So you've got a lot of bar chords in the key V. Now if I capoed at the second fret, I could use D shape. I'm still gonna have a bar chord for the sixth chord. So this little trick. Now the downside to this trick is that it's a it's very droney, meaning that there there's on every chord there's going to be an E and a B ringing out. So it's going to change uh, the dynamics of the chords. They're not going to be pure major and minor chords. In fact, the one chord is not even going to be a major or minor chord. It's going to be what I call a five chord, which means it only has roots and fifths in it. So the first chord, and on this one you could do it two ways. You can play the top five strings, or you can play all six strings. Because it's, e, it's an E chord, we can have an E in the bass. Um, and where, where you're going to play it is at the 7th fret. Basically all we're doing is moving a power chord around. Okay, And a power chord is just a chord that's root, 5th, and root. So we have 7th fret on the 5th string, 9th fret on the 4th string, and 9th fret on the 3rd string. And then the top two strings open. And that's technically an E5 chord, or an E power chord. Um, and there's no third there. So this could be used as a, a substitute for E minor as well as E major, since there's no third. Okay, this is the one chord. The sixth chord would be C sharp minor, which you would normally play like this. But we can just take this bar chord, or this power chord, with the open top two strings, and slide it down two frets and play the top five strings. Now technically, we are playing a C sharp minor chord, but we also have a B in there, so it's technically a C sharp minor seven chord. It's got one extra note over a standard standard uh, minor triad. It's got a seventh in there. Okay, if we go down two more frets, we get to the second fret, and that is a B. What would I would call a B sus chord. There's no D in here. but it, it clearly implies the five chord. And then if I just go ahead and take off my first finger and just slide my third and fourth fingers down, keep, the, keep them on the strings, you, they never need to leave the strings. There's your A chord. Well, this is an A major, it's just an A2 chord, no third. So there's no third in here. We have A, E, A, B, E. Okay, again, no, don't pluck the bottom string. The only time we would pluck the bottom string on these four chords is when we hit the first one, the E chord. So we have one, six, C sharp minor, five, four chord, E, C sharp minor, E, A. And we can mix them up anyway. But it's just a super easy and fun way to play an E. Now I'm going to show you a couple more chords. I'm going to show you um, a chord we can use for the two and a chord we can use for the three. The two chord, take that, take the A shape we did, where we just took the whole power chord down into open position, okay, and we just put our second finger right here on the F sharp on the bottom string, so second fret on the sixth string, and you can let all six strings ring out if you want. It gets a little muddy down on the bottom, so if you want to, you can lay your second finger down to deaden that A string. Use a little bit more focus, okay? And so this is not purely F sharp minor. Here's a pure F sharp minor, okay? This would be F sharp minor 711. <laughs> it's one of those chords that sounds more complicated than it is. In fact, if you just play all six strings open, 
that's E minor 7-Eleven. So that's super easy. Uh, but F sharp minor 7-Eleven isn't much harder. Okay, if you take this up two frets to the fourth fret, um, you can have a couple different chords. We could have, if we let the E string ring out on top, this would be, I would call this an E2 over G sharp. It's a fairly complex name for a fairly simple chord. If you put your first finger down here, then get this F sharp here on the second fret. Now you're talking a G sharp minor seven chord. So there's our three chord, here's our two chord, and here's our one chord. So for example, if I were to do a, uh, let's see, five, six, three, two. Okay, I could go E to E2 over G sharp to A. Minor to B, and that would sound like this. Okay, so yeah, I really like it. Like I said, it's very droney. You're gonna you're gonna hear a lot of E's and B's, so that would be one of the negatives. And the other negative is that you're not playing pure triads. Um, but it gets the job done. And if you're stuck playing in the key of E and you're having you're really struggling with bar chords and you don't have a capo handy, and even if you do have a capo handy, this is a great way to kind of get a really big open sound. Um, it's one of my favorite ways to play. Uh, in the key of E because it does have so many open strings. When people see me pick up this guitar, an acoustic guitar, they expect to hear open strings. That's one of the reasons why I capo because like when we're in the key of B flat, if I, if I can capo the third fret and play G shapes, I can get that open string ringy sound that people are expecting to hear from acoustic. Particularly really, really helps when you're plugging in uh, because to me, guitars with pickups in them, um, acoustic guitars with pickups in them, tend to sound kind of like skewing towards electric guitars. And so if you're doing all bar chords, it's only going to make it more that sound of, a, of an electric guitar. And if you can get some open strings in there, again, that's more what people are expecting to hear when they see you pick up an acoustic guitar. Okay? I hope this helps. Uh, it's fun. It should be fun. <laughs> guitar playing should be fun. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check out all my playlists because there's lots of videos up there. I don't even know how many videos I have, something like 350 maybe, maybe more. Um, but just kind of subscribe and keep tabs on them and, and uh, have fun. Enjoy playing the guitar. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.